Uh, I'm Ben Swadley, and I'm going to tell you about heat treating chert in the turkey roaster. This is Rex. And uh, there's several things you need to know about the roaster. You need to know how to pack it. Uh, you need to know that most turkey roasters come with a liner, which needs to be removed. You want nothing inside the turkey roaster. Um, and we'll go about how to do that and the steps involved. The first thing we're going to do is add some playground sand to the turkey roaster. And you can use your playground sand over and over. Just keep it covered and dry so that cats won't get into it and do you know what. But I'm going to put about maybe a inch of, of sand in the bottom of this roaster first. Spread it out. You don't want leaves in it. Those will burn up. And you want to do this outside because uh, rocks can give off gases that may be harmful to humans and pets and things like that. Well, the first thing I'm going to do is uh, add rock into the mix. And this rock is Crowley's Ridge Chert, which is also known as Lafayette Formation Chert. And uh, the sides of the roaster and the bottom of the roaster are going to be the hottest parts. So I'm just going to start placing these cobbles in there. Uh, you probably want to spall your rock out if it's very thick. These rocks are all not so thick, so I'll, I'll probably put them all in here. And you just keep piling rock into the roaster. Okay, so now we'll turn it on and we'll go to about 200 degrees. And wait 24 hours. Don't open it. Just leave it shut the whole time. Okay, I have put the rock in and loaded the sand in it. Heated it up to 200 degrees so that the water won't boil inside the rocks at 212. Did that for about between 24 and 48 hours, depending on how wet you feel your rocks are. But anyway, after I did that, then I just turned up the heat on the dial to 350. But that doesn't mean that this temperature inside the turkey roaster is 350, so you need to check. I'm going for around 400 degrees on this particular kind of rock. So let me stick it in this back corner first. This is just a regular dial thermometer. It's inching up. Okay, looks like in that back corner we have about 425 degrees. Let's check kind of right in the middle, if I can get it very far down in there. There we go. This is the middle of the turkey roaster. Right at 400 degrees. So I'm pretty confident I have a 400 degree turkey roaster here, which is what I'm shooting for on my Crowley's Ridge material. So I'm going to put the lid back on it, and I'm going to keep this heated for about 48 hours in total. That's called soak time, when you run it a long time, and lots of times it helps produce the change in the rock that are desirable for flint napping. Okay, I've been heating this rock for over 48 hours actually, but that's okay, it, it doesn't matter. But now it's time to turn the kiln off. A lot of people talk about ramping the kiln down, which is slowing it, turning it down, you know, a couple of hundred degrees over, over many hours and to lower the temperature and prevent shock. But it's nice and warm out here. I've got maybe 40 pounds of rock in here and 30 pounds of sand. So if I turn this off, it won't be cool till 24 hours from now. So there's no need to go into the ramping cycle in this kind of situation. So here it goes. It's off. I turned this turkey roaster off yesterday evening. Now it's time to check everything. I put my thermometer in there already and tested the temperatures. And it's just uh, air temperature down in there. So probably the first thing to do is to remove a sample piece and see how it works. See if I need to uh, 
retrieve it or if it's uh, good good quality. Well, from the way it's flaking, it seems to be pretty good. Okay, there's the rock. And it seems to have come out pretty good. Uh, here's the piece that I've knocked a spall off of. And uh, it's got a little bit into it, but the main thing is I didn't really lose any rock in the process. I didn't uh, overheat it and destroy it. So we'll try a little sample chipping of it and see how it worked. Let's see how this rock did. That looks good. That's some good uh, little bit of shine to that. Well, here's the rock that I've finished up with. Uh, Crowley's Ridge is a strange rock because there's different types, and I can tell that some of the kind that's more like Burlington is going to take higher temperature and refiring, but other rocks just fine. So to recap, put in your rock, add the sand, and heat it to about 200 degrees for somewhere between 24 and 48 hours, depending on the moisture content of your rock. If it's really cold outside, you may need to ramp it up and then heat it to whatever temperature the rock you're trying to heat treat is and do that for about 48 hours. Some rocks require longer. And then if it's uh, really cold, you might want to ramp it down. But if it's not, remember all that mass is in there and you can just turn the kiln off and then wait for it to cool completely. Never try to remove hot rocks. It will crack them. And then uh, test your rock and see how it did and make some notes and adjust next time. So. Happy turkey roasting, everybody. Good luck.